Let go. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to the channel. Let's go. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to the channel. Let's go. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to the channel. Let's go. Hit the like, share, and subscribe. Let's go. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to the channel. Let's go. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to the channel. Let's go. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to the channel. Let's go. Hit the like, share, and subscribe. Let's go. What's going on, everybody? You are now tuned in to Carolina David. Let's talk with Carolina David. And if you're now a uh, first time uh, watcher of the video, make sure you hit that like, that share, and subscribe by hitting. And then once you subscribe, hit that bell notification so that you can get notified to all content that I put up. Now, the topic of this video is our women hypocrites. And the reason why I asked that question, because we have so much right now going on in the world. We have women that say that they get paid less than men. We have women that say, my body, my choice. We have women that say um, that, uh, you know, that they are nurturers and everything like that of the sort. But now, the reason why I asked that question and, and bring that up, because, okay, your body, your choice, right? You said that if you choose to bring this child into this world, you should it should be your choice to bring the child into this world or not, whenever you're ready. But yet, you whenever a man is not ready, he don't have a say. If he's not ready, he just got to pay child support. If he's not ready and he doesn't have the money to pay child support, he just go to prison. But if a woman is found is deemed uh, not fit to raise a child, then if you put her on, it's not right to put her on child support in most women's eyes. It's not right to uh, take the child away from her and to give it to the father. But yet you do the same thing to the father. Because when you have the child and that child is in your care, you take him or her from the father. You make the decision whether the child can stay with the father or not. That man don't have say. Then when it comes down to pay, they say, oh, women don't get paid enough. They don't get paid as much as men do. But yet, when you are in a position to where you get paid more than men, what do you then do? You then brag. You then uh look at men as failures. You then look at men in, a, in another way. You even have women that say that they're not going to date any broke men. So how is it right that you can make the choice and decision on, you know, and say, okay, by me making money, I, I'm now better than you. I now, um, I now have the opportunity to gloat. But yet, when a man is making more money than you because he actually is qualified for the job, it's a problem. Just like uh, if a man, if, if like they say the, uh, about the glass ceiling thing, if a glass ceiling right now, if a glass was broken outside of a skyscraper, who's going to go up there and fix that glass? A man, because women are gonna say, oh, I'm not dumb enough to go up there. If, uh, where, if it found black mold, or something like that in the basement. Who's going to come down there and clean up that black bowl? Predominantly men. Why? Because they put their life on the line to do so. So why is it that women now make that claim? And even if, like, you got women right now that say, oh, this is not right, my body, my choice, and whatever like that. But yet you sit here and, like, uh, matter of fact, I'm sorry, you got women that say, a woman should not be justified by how she looks or whatever like that. She should not be um, look, uh, looked upon in that manner. But yet you put makeup on to look a certain way for attraction. You, you put makeup on so that people can look at you in a certain light. So you can look better than other women. And then when you look better than other women, you demonize the other women. You, uh, you laugh at them. You cr uh, criticize and critique them on how they look. And then if you get a job 
if you get the job based off of how you look, now it's a problem because you got the job based off of how you look. But yet, some women be like, oh, that's wrong. But then you got it to some women be like, well, hey, I use what I got to get what I want. So now let's decide within within our minds, within within ourselves. Who what is it? What is the problem with a lot of women? Why do you claim and, and fight for one thing, but yet you're on the opposing side as well? You're like, oh, I want this, but I don't want this. Make up your minds on what you want. Because guess what? Me personally, I feel like equality, if y'all really truly want equality, I feel like equality should be should, should be on every hand. I feel like it's, a, a child should be able to make the choice of who they want to stay with. Like, I feel like the uh, the child should not automatically be given to the mother just because she's a mother. Because let's be honest, you got a lot of fathers out here who are better suited parents than the mothers. Like, every time you turn around, you look in, uh, uh, you see that children are molested and raped because they don't have their fathers in their life. Because mama is always at work. Mama's always gone. So who is better suited for to raise that child? Women, y'all got to stop being so emotional. Stop being so so in your emotions and, and, and make it try to make decisions from your emotions and think logically. Because you ask for one thing, but yet you don't want to be, you don't want that you you don't want that thing at the end of the day. Like feminists. They be like, oh, it's a, a, a woman should not be looked at this and this, that, the third. It's because I'm a woman. But then we were like, okay, well, you do this job right here because, you know what I'm saying, you equal. No, I'm a woman. Make up your mind. They they don't know what to do. They sit there and say, well, you should not call me a woman. I know I should not be called a woman. Okay, address me as your appear, superior, other superior. Okay, sir. Don't call me, sir. Well, you told me to address you as the other superiors. Which one do you want? Do you want me to call you ma'am or do you want me to call you sir? Well, don't call me ma'am. Don't call me miss. That's what you are. Anyway, I just I just wanted to come and do that because I was watching this uh, this show and it just got on my nerves and I just had to get that rant out. But anyway, I love y'all. Y'all have a good one. Peace.